This segment in the Soil Health, a Montana Perspective video series, will discuss one of the tools that agricultural producers can use to improve soil health. This tool is no-till. Let's begin by defining no-till. No-till is a method of farming that does not disturb the soil with tillage, but simply plants crops into the previous crop's residue and the undisturbed soil. Other common names for no-till are zero-till or direct seeding. So, why would this be something you would want to implement on your farm? Because no-till saves labor and fuel, reduces soil erosion, reduces loss of nutrients from runoff, helps trap snow and improve water savings, reduces loss of water from evapotranspiration, and increases soil organic matter and soil water holding capacity. A decrease in tillage will increase residue which has been shown to improve soil health. No-till can also potentially decrease your inputs. Some of the producer concerns with the transition to no-till are how to plant through residue, rocks in the field, soil moisture in dry land and irrigated systems, drill and opener types and the importance of maintenance, how to provide nutrients to crops, changing rotations, even residue distribution at harvest. Other segments in this video series feature interviews with Montana farmers and ranchers who discuss how they deal with these concerns. We learned some, some very fundamental steps to, to dealing with residue, such as leaving it very tall so that it doesn't have a chance to get snarled up in the drill. We have all seen soil blowing or running off a tilled crop field, but how do the physical impacts of soil disturbance decrease organic matter and increase erosion potential? No-till helps to improve soil organic matter, which is depleted when more soil organic matter is used than what is returned through surface residue. No-till allows the soil system to reach equilibrium. At equilibrium, all functions work together to maintain or increase organic matter if sufficient residue is left on the surface after each harvest and if the roots of the harvested crop are left intact underground. An increase in organic matter and decomposing root channels will increase the water holding capacity and the structure of the soil. Soil structure is important because it increases the speed with which rainfall or irrigation water infiltrates the soil where it can be stored. It is also very important to minimize disturbance in the soil because of all the living organisms in the soil that can be affected. Living organisms create a glue that holds soil particles together. These organisms are important in breaking down crop residues and turning them into nutrients that are available to the crop. When we till, we destroy those glues, disrupt the microbial community, and reduce nutrient cycling and soil organic matter. Think of it like an earthquake below the soil. Every time you till, it takes time for those organisms to rebuild the glues that hold your soil together and to reestablish the microbial activity that supports your crop. The adoption of no-till requires specific considerations in residue management, equipment needs, nutrient management, and more. The biggest challenges when converting to no-till for us were fertility the first couple years. In general, nitrogen rates need to be slightly increased in the short term to maximize yields and build organic matter for the long term. Phosphorus and potassium rates are generally the same for no-till and conventional till. Due to the increased residue on the surface, the loss of nitrogen due to volatilization of ammonium can be higher with no-till systems than with conventional systems. Volatilization is the loss of nitrogen that occurs when surface-applied urea-based fertilizers are converted to a gas and vapor goes into the atmosphere. To prevent this loss, subsurface application of nutrients is recommended for no-till systems. Thus, deep banding and the use of starter fertilizers applied at planting time are effective in no-till. A good soil testing program is necessary in a no-till system to accurately determine crop nutrient needs and fertilizer application rates. No-till is a long-term process that uses less energy, can reduce soil erosion, increase water infiltration and water holding capacity, and improve soil health. 
You can speed up the process by incorporating other soil health practices, such as adding different types of crops to manage the carbon to nitrogen ratio in the rotation. This system is now a more resilient system. For more information about soil health and no-till,